Hello guys, welcome to Hankins Custom Rifles, another episode of Hanks TV. Today's uh, December the 29th, it's a Saturday and afternoon. It's cold outside and there's not much really to do other than stay inside the shop and work on gun parts. So what we're going to do today is do a little bit of CNC videoing, show you another part that I make here in the shop and what that part's going to be today is these little inserts that goes in the ramrods. And what I do is I turn these out of 3 8 inch diameter aluminum rod or bar stock whatever you want to prefer to call it and we make them on the CNC machine what they're for is they're the inserts for my three-piece collapsible ramrod so it works pretty easy if you don't know what the three-piece ramrod is or how it works you simply just put it in your pocket pull it out of your pocket and now it's a ramrod so it's got a piece of bungee cord through here there's a couple of other parts that make up the ramrod itself and these were originally made by a guy named Mac and they had a name called Mac Rod it was the Mac Rod so it was a really good rod uh, the guy Mac he quit making them he called me a couple of years ago and told me if I wanted to make them if whatever to feel free to make them that he was no longer making them he used to make them for a couple of other muzzle loader supply houses and he made a bunch of them sent them to him never got paid so he just quit making them all together and i make my own here in the shop now i'm gonna walk in so that you can see this insert that i put in to my ramrods they've got three grooves in them what those three grooves does is it allows a place for your hot melt glue to go when you insert it into the tube that hot melt glue stays in those grooves and will allow it to stay in the tube when you put it in your aluminum tubing. If you make one of these inserts without putting the grooves in it and you push it in, what it does is it basically works like a squeegee and it pushes all the glue off. And then you have no glue up inside your tube to hold the insert in place. And eventually it'll break loose and come out if it even holds at all. So this is what we're gonna make. I'm going to take you in here to the machine and we're going to make a couple. So I'll explain what I've got on the machine here. So what our first tool is here is a parting tool. I'm using it for a facing tool, turning tool, grooving tool, and a part off tool. So that's a multi-purpose tool right here. It's doing, all, it's doing a lot of work for me. I come in here to the second tool we've got a center drill that's going to come over here and do the center on this part then it's going to jump over and do the tap drill this is a number 21 that's a tap drill for a 1032 tap so it's going to start here go to here go to here go to here and then jump back to here to do the last operation we're ready to run this i've already set the material out to the correct length you all know how i did that or how I do that if you watched my last CNC video. So we're just gonna jump up here to the control panel and hit the cycle start button. And as soon as I do that, the machine's gonna start running. And it's gonna make a jump over to the first tool and do its profile. operation of that final tool it comes in and touches this material right here just enough to knock off the burr so that when I set the next part I don't 
don't have a burr on the end of the material and it will give me an accurate setting. So I loosen the handle, pull that out, push it in, lock the handle, and it's ready to go again. Okay, so I blow off my part, break it off, set the material length, and we're ready to run another part. Now I'm not going to run another one, but I'll show you this one that we just did run. Um, we're going to make a bunch of these, so I got a lot of ramrods to make. This is a really nice little part. I can do that in one operation. I don't know what it took there, a minute and a half maybe. And um, we're going to make a bunch of three-piece ramrods out of them. Now, if you guys need a three-piece ramrod, I've got several in stock. They come in three different lengths. They start out at 23, and they start out at 23. They go 24 and a half, and then 26. And when you add your spin jag, that's going to add another two inches to that total length. So you can add that to the total length of that rod, and that's what you're going to have. So want to thank you guys for watching the videos um, subscribe to the YouTube channel give me a thumbs up on the videos go visit Hank's message board and um, till next time guys we'll see you later